Do you know that an average worker from Klang Valley spend almost 44 hours a month or 2 hours daily in traffic jams? And let's not add the time you would spend with your family or when your friends, you know, chill you yam cha after work. Those precious hours in your 20s compounded with inflation and opportunity cost could be the difference between you standing out from the pack or, you know, stay average for the rest of your life. Don't get me wrong, you should spend quality time with your friends and family, no doubt about that. But let's be very honest, many of us spend way too much time on those and there's barely enough time left at night to do anything productive for ourselves. So if you want to extract the maximum potential of your time to make the most money in your 20s, forget about investing or drop shipping or you know, the 9 secrets to get rich or whatever, Start by taking this simple yet super underrated step towards financial freedom. Rent near to your workplace. Allow me to explain more as I bring you through my entire 5 years journey of renting in Kuala Lumpur, city of Malaysia, starting from a fresh grad salary of 3000 ringgit up until now, still renting, but renting an entire unit, also in KL, but running a 6 figure net profit business right at the same time. It all started in May 2018 when I graduated as a mechanical engineer and securing a job with my first employer and like I said, it was 3000 ringgit a month which to be fair is pretty decent for a fresh grad salary but that said, 3000 ringgit is still a pretty tight amount of money to work with especially in the KL city center and even though I came from Klang which is about 1 hour drive to my workplace without jam that is still more than 2 hours daily of time wasted just sitting in a car. And if you put that into the perspective of a typical 9 to 6 worker, reaching home around 8pm would mean that you have less than 4 hours at night before you need to eat, shower, do whatever and sleep and the cycle repeats right? So long story short, here's my personal thumb rule when it comes to deciding for your first rental unit and it all boils down to these 3 factors. location budget and comfort and think about it like a triangle you can only choose two of them at the same time and you will have to sacrifice one of them and this is how i did for my first rental unit obviously to save time from traffic jams location and budget will be prioritized so i needed a place conveniently located near the lrt trains and with my peanuts fresh grad salary that would mean comfort had to go so I got a sub 100 square feet room for 600 ringgit a month before utilities that I found on iBillix website. And of course, it's a shared house which means I'm living with total strangers. The condition of the 20 years old unit was, um, let's just say it was bad. The room barely had enough space for me, a cupboard and a small work desk. And the room was so small that it couldn't even fit in a bed frame. And don't let me begin with the struggle of living with strangers that don't care about cleaning the house at all. It's a total nightmare. But here's the saving grace. The location was fantastic as I only needed to walk for 10 minutes or so to the LRT station and ride around 3 to 4 stations to work and door to door it took less than 30 minutes of walking from my condo to my office and god can I watch for the convenience of that. I have zero ounce of regret because that means I can put more time into my career and worry less about those traffic jams. And two years down the road right after the pandemic started, I think sometime in July 2020, because I spent so much time on my 9 to 6 working and learning my ass off, that made me a very, very efficient worker and I can finish off a lot of my daily tasks earlier while working from home. Love that time. And that would mean I had extra time outside of my day job. And guess what? I used that time to explore YouTube and do some online freelance jobs and the rest is pretty much history lah. But the point is that also it resulted in me having a little bit more of side income and so the young and adventurous me wanted a slightly bigger medium room that came with a queen size bed so upgrade I did. And that upgrade would then cost me 750 ringgit per month. Still a shed house with strangers lah. Tiny upgrade, but to me it was already one huge step above the tiny little room I had back then. It was still within the same condo, but it was a different unit in a different block as I was still committing to my same day job. But then I have more space in the room for my YouTube related equipment like the lighting and the camera gears etc. And the best part, you know, my girlfriend can come over anytime so it was an investment I did not regret. 
And keep in mind, even then when I moved in all of my YouTube gears on top of the boxes and laundry basket and luggage etc, I could barely walk in the room and I had to tiptoe most of the time if not jump around or roll around the bed. I know this sounds absolutely stupid but back then my YouTube channel wasn't making any money at all so the additional income was all dependent on my side hustles which sounds great on paper but then it was still very very uncertain and on some months there will be very little projects to be taken up which means no money lah. And to be 100% truthful with you, I did not regret a single bit for the below average rooms that I stayed in earlier because that taught me a lot of good values. Tenacity, perseverance, being creative with limited space and resources, etc. You name it. So lo and behold, after hustling day and night between work and YouTube and freelance jobs for another year, I decided to move to my current place here. And this time, thanks to the additional income coming in from YouTube, I can now assign more priority towards comfort and also privacy. So this time, I wanted an entire condo for myself and my partner. And after months of researching and ping pong with real estate agents, God, I finally got it at a fixed rate of 2.8k per month for a sub 1000 square feet unit in the heart of KL and if you think 2.8k is expensive that was covid price which I locked in for 3 years luckily because today the market rate for the rental of this unit starts at 4.5k a month if you're lucky I know it's super nuts. So now I have more room to do things beyond just my bedroom back then. I have one dedicated space just for work and making YouTube videos here and two more spacious rooms over there. One for my guests and another master bedroom for me and my partner. So gone are the days where I need to wait 30 minutes for my housemate to use the bathroom or an hour wasted just to wait for the kitchen to be emptied so I can cook my stuff or sharing the washing machine with different housemates etc. You know, don't get me wrong, if you got nice housemates that have common sense then trust me it will be a very pleasant experience but based on my personal experience not generalizing uh, but easily one out of five people out there left their brains in their hometown if you get what i mean so of course having the current luxury of the kitchen and rooms means i could set clear boundaries which really helped me so much in terms of focusing on my work and my relationships better and i know it's really unquantifiable and very subjective but having full control of the whole unit means the sky's the limit i can work here play there cook there, invite my friends and family for stayovers or parties whenever I want which actually saved me a lot of time from driving around, pro tip huh? And if I ever need to, just drive 5 to 10 minutes to all the KL hotspots for meetings and whatnot. It's such a luxury that I'm super thankful for every single day, trust me. Quick pause, if you are just started working or have very small capital to start investing, Fret not because Interactive Brokers offers you fractional shares trading where you can buy pieces of a stock without paying for its full price. If let's say Tesla is $250 per share, no worries, you can buy it at $100 or $50 or even $5 also can. Rest assured Interactive Brokers is very well regulated in more than 10 different countries and I personally have been using it for many many years already, you guys already know. So feel free to register yourself an account using my link in the pinned comment down below. So coming back to reality, it wasn't easy at all and I'm not here to sell you a dream because it took a lot of hard work and late nights and enduring pain going through shared rental units and dealing with lots and lots of bullshit but trust me when I say this, the worst thing you can do right now is to close this video and stay in your comfort zone and do nothing. That to me is just so much of wasted potential in you. Renting to me is more than just where you stay, it's also about productivity, time management, learning to be independent, networking opportunities and so much more because you are literally staying closer to opportunities, all of which might just go down the drain if you so choose to spend that extra few hours a day in the traffic jam. And obviously, my experience is unique to me. Tweak it according to your life and career progression, your lifestyle, family commitments and whatnot. It's very subjective again, so what works for me might not work for you. But above all, I hope you took away something useful from this video and if you did, a quick tap of the like and subscribe button down below would mean a lot to me. 
let me know in the comments down below if you like content like this you know i can do more sharings or if you have a different perspective on this topic i look forward to reading your comments thank you for watching and as usual i will see you in the next one